Hello everyone, welcome back to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you something I just found recently very interesting and very useful and it's easy to get, which can provide to you a free VPS with $5 every month to use, which is more than enough to, for you to run a website, for example, WordPress website. It's not only that, it's also supported to deploy a database and open to the internet. You can have free VPS, deploy your Docker images, and you even can create your own dev environment. Based on the pricing, which is free, you can get a 4 virtual CPU, 8GB RAM, 10 gig storage, 10 gig network throughput, and one workspace, one seat. For a home user or personal project, which is more than enough, you also can find the documentation to show you how to create your dev box for your development environment, get your database, launch your applications, you can deploy from Docker if you have Docker image you want to use, which I'm going to show you in this example how to map in your internal folder to the storage provided by Claw Cloud Run. You also can easily deploy some templates directly from the website, which can make your deployment much easier. So, for example, WordPress, and the usage is very simple. Just a couple of clicking through the wizard, then you should be able to get out all those. So now let's jump into it. To get a free $5 every month credit, you definitely need a GitHub account. They're going to do GitHub verification. But uh, for most of people, I believe you already have a GitHub account comparing to the website asking you your credit card. This one doesn't ask him for that, but it does require you have a GitHub user for more than 180 days, which can unlock your five free dollars credit every month. If you don't have your 180 days GitHub user account, then you only get five dollar credit for your first month. So please remember that to log into Claw cloud run this website you just click github so you need to also write crawl cloud run application make sure you already logged into your github account so once you did that you're going to create your workspace free user only get one workspace to create it so i'm going to create one at the us east which is closest one definitely you're going to create your workspace I'm going to put the NASDAQ as my workspace name. He said you may invite the members later, but as a free user, you won't have one seat. Then you will see this wizard, they like, gonna give you some instruction, how to create your dev box, how to deploy from your Docker image, deploy from template, deploy database. We will quickly go through that. After this, then we will use a Docker project to present in how you can deploy your Docker image to the cloud. Now we just do skip to dashboard. After you log into Claw Cloud Run dashboard, you will see this simplest dashboard you ever see comparing to other cloud application deployment websites such as Frido, IO, Render, Netlify, Railway, Heroku, any others this is crazy simple one they only have a couple icons here and that's it uh, it will explain it by itself app launchpad so if you want to create an app you can deploy it so in application you can choose the image this is just docker image you will want to put in here for example they already populated with some information here hello world engine x and then you choose CPU memory. The most useful feature I like is the cost. Depending on how much cost you have, you can choose 1 gig RAM, uh, 0.5 CPU, then you get $0.14 per day, which is good enough for you to run 30 days, 31 days. If you just want to deploy a Docker image using half CPU, 1 gig RAM, yeah, perfect here. Um, it's also supported 
to map to the internet they gave you a url if you want to open to internet you just need to choose the port and then they will give you map the url uh, you want to do the custom domain uh, which i'm going to show you other than that you can map your environment you can get the local storage so i'm going to use an example to show that same thing on database it's simple easiest way to create a database in the cloud choose the database type mysql then you can choose how many cpus how many memory you want to use you maybe only half and which you can get one database in cloud for 31 days with the total price is only 0 0.15 dollars per day which gave you free to run for a whole month no problem other than that, you also can deploy object storage. You can create your own bucket. Um, they already have some templates for you to use, such as a list, fast GPT, WordPress is listing here as well. This is one of the most popular content management system. WordPress, Uptime Kuma, I have a couple of videos for that. Rust Desk, Remote desktop sharing software similar as uh, TeamViewer. There's quite a few useful templates here, which you can just click to deploy, make your life very simple, easy, such as this WordPress. If you want to deploy WordPress, you can just deploy app. It only costs you $0.06 per day. Your $5 credit is more than enough to run a couple of WordPress website here. You also can get your terminal, open the terminal to your application. Other than that, on your dashboard, you will see the guide, you will see document website. You also can see the help website. There's a button for you to upgrade plan. If this free plan is more, not enough for you, then of course you can upgrade to it. In my previous video and blog post, I showed you how to deploy next term this open source server management software to a cloud platform such as fly.io render i'm gonna show you how to do it in a wrong dot cloud dot cloud this website i put some simple steps here i'm gonna show you step by step in this video usually i like to use play with docker to demo deployment for a docker image as you know, this is only for temporary usage, playground for three hours, and then your session will be terminated. And then you also facing lots of limitations and uh, capacity issue. So in this case, the cloud, the cloud, this website gonna be definitely helps you to run your Docker image for temporary because you can choose like four virtual CPU, a gig RAM to run your Docker. Of course, it's not for long term to run because your credit is only $5, but for your temporary one or two hours to testing it, that's a great starting point. So we're going to use it next turn to demonstrate how to deploy this. If you haven't watched that, you can watch my video here and also check my blog post for it. To deploy a public Docker image to run the cloud cloud just click on app launchpad and deploy your first app so i'm gonna put the next turn here and we are gonna use in public image which you can get from previous docker run command so now it's tricky part you want to choose right size for your docker image to run half cpu one gig ram so that will give you decent free for every day until next month but also you can choose more than that that will cost you almost half dollar per day same thing you can ch change container port if you want to map into the internet which port we are using here you can see 6989 so that's the one thing you need to populate it into here of course if you want to enable internet access other than that, you need to map the environment, so which you also can get it from here, environment encryption key, which you need it. Just add it in. 
So the map encryption key with the key you put it in here. Another interesting part is the local storage. You can have 10 gigabyte local storage depending on how much you need it. So I put just one, you can increase that. Uh, and then you need to map to your local folder. Let the folder inside your Docker. Confirm that. So that's everything you need to do. If you have special command need to run, you can put in here, here. We already map the environment variables. And you can put them more if you need it. Storage is here. After that, you just need to deploy applications. Yes. So deployment succeeded. It shows still shows creating. You may want to wait a bit to let this project completely deployed. While we are speaking, the status changed to running, which is already done. So you can test it using this public access. As you can see, your next turn, this open source server management software is up in the cloud. So now you should be able to create your username and password. That's how simple, how easy you can do the Docker deployment into run.cloud.cloud. Now, if you open your app launchpad, you will see next ten is running here. You can pause, update, restart, and delete your project. You also can log into a terminal if you want here. Now you can log into terminal. You can see your version of your system running is Ubuntu 20.04. You can do apt update. So there's a lot of things you can do. I will leave it to you to explore. I'm creating more videos to show you how to use Crawl Cloud run this website to deploy some personal project into the cloud, as I did before. Please subscribe to the channel for more information. If you haven't, if you like this video, as usual, please give me a thumb up. That will give me a great support. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one. Thank you.